yes today we are starting with the complex numbers first where we uh, got the complex number earlier first i should tell that and uh, after that we will be coming on the complex number uh, last year when we have done the quadratic equation it was ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then now uh, we have done the quadratic formula in that we have uh, calculated the roots by minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a then in that i told you discriminant is b square minus 4ac this is discriminant and this has decided that uh, the function is uh, this uh, quadratic equation is having real root imaginary root or whatever it is so that condition already we have done that if discriminant was say greater than 0 then the roots we got was real and unequal this we have done when we get get zero we have done roots are real and equal and when it came less than zero the roots are not real and uh, we told that roots are not real or they are not uh, real means they are imaginary we have done that this word we have used last year that the discriminant is coming negative the roots are coming imaginary what is the meaning of that imaginary root that we should understand now so what are imaginary uh, numbers we should know or why, why it is needed now so that we should understand here yeah? so this uh, concept we have already done uh, that uh, when you have calculated the roots of quadratic equation by quadratic formula that time we have decided that the roots are imaginary or roots are not real that we are going to extend now and we are going to study about those numbers so here if we just think about our previous knowledge if you have the equation like this x minus 5 equal to 0 and if i say you just solve the equation directly you will write x is equal to 5 this was the first type of equations we got in our complete study whatever years we are going to we have the study in that first type of equation which you got was this because that time you will be having only the natural numbers known to you so earlier we used to solve this equation and we have introduced the natural numbers that time because the solution came as a natural later on we got the equation like this 2x is equal then the problem we faced that there is no natural number which will give this answer at that time we have introduced another number zero that means we have extended our number system to whole number then the third situation came that was this x plus 5 they have given zero then the problem was there is no negative number so we have introduced that negative number and we call them as integers this is i or z whatever you want after that when you have done the higher studies that time you got this equation also now the problem in this equation we got is this is coming minus 5 by 2 x we got as minus 5 by 2 that means you got a number which is negative as well as a fraction one so we have introduced another number that we call as the rational so this we have uh, this way we have extended the our number system first we have started with natural number then the whole number then the integers then the rational that way we have done after that they have given this type of equation also x square minus 9 is 0 then we used to say x square is coming 9 x will be plus minus 3 we have done this equation they have given this equation also x square minus 5 came 0 when you have x square is equal to 5 for x square minus 5 equal to 0 then the equation we have solved this way 5 x came as plus minus root 5 that means there were some number which came in square root whose perfect cannot be calculated so that are also introduced that came in irrational <coughs> this complete part we have done last year that was the real numbers 
Last year we got this condition also, which I already explained in the quadratic equation. We got this equation. x square plus 5 equal to 0. Then we used to say x square comes out to be minus 5 and then we used to say till 10th class that there is no real number whose square come out to be a negative. No real number is there whose square if you do it will come out to be negative. That is not possible at all. So if that is not possible at all means you need more numbers now or you should improve your number system. Till now we had the real number till 10th class but now we want some number whose square also come out to be negative so that's why we have we have to extend now the number system so what we are going to do now in whenever this type of equation come we will take a simplest form of this for example i will take this equation x square plus 1 equal to 0 when i say x square plus 1 equal to 0 i should write x square coming as minus 1 and then we will write x will be plus minus root of minus 1. When you do this, till now we have not got any number in which square root is there and inside square root there is a negative number that is not possible. But we got this number here. So now we have decided that we got two numbers. One is root of minus 1, another is root of minus 1 with minus 1. Then this number we call as iota. And it will be denoted by i. Root of minus 1 we will take as iota. This is the name of this number which is called as i. It is also called as imaginary unit. Just like in real number you have 1 as the unit, here we have the imaginary unit is iota. So it is imaginary unit is coming iota, then this is clearly minus of iota. So this is the number we have introduced now in our number system. One is the real number we have already done. Now we have introduced one more number called as imaginary unit iota. And now first thing which we are going to do today is just going to work on this iota. How to work on this iota we should find out first we will uh, take iota's integral power how to solve it so just check here i'm saying iota iota is the imaginary unit and it's integral power if it is given for iota power 20 given iota power 25 given iota power 100 given how you are going to solve that we are going to check so first thing we should remember these results. Whenever iota, we have already done it is root of minus 1. Then we have iota square, it is come out to be minus 1. Then we have iota cube. Iota cube you should write as iota square into iota, so it is minus 1 and it is iota, so it come out to be minus iota. Then came iota power 4, it will be iota square into iota square, that will be coming minus 1 and minus 1, so it will come out to be plus 1. So keep in mind, iota is root of minus 1, iota square is minus 1, iota cube is minus iota, iota 4 is 1. And whatever the other integral powers, they will come in this form only. Just check here. iota power 5, if I take, it will be iota 4 into iota. Iota 4 is only 1, so left is iota. Then we go for iota 6. I'll write this as iota 4 into iota square. Iota 4 is 1 only, iota square is minus 1 only. Just check here. This answer is coming here. This answer is coming here. Iota power 7, if I take, I'll take iota 4 iota q. This is 1 only and this is left minus iota. It is here. So we will say whenever integral powers of iota you take, always you will be having these four answers. Either it is iota is the answer or it's minus 1 or it's minus iota or it's plus iota. 
Now, how to solve this integral power when it is uh, some higher powers except uh, till 4 we have done and these we are going to use. For example, if I say iota power 99, I have to calculate. So, when you want to calculate iota power 99, what I do here, 99 I divided by 4. Why we are dividing it by 4? Because iota 4 is 1. So, 4 to the 8 left is 1, 19, 4 to the 16 left is 3. So, left is what? Iota cube. And what is iota cube this time? Iota cube is already done minus iota. So, answer is come out to be minus. Same way, they say another question, iota power 135. Then again, we will say iota power 135, 135 divided by 4. 4, when you take, it will be coming 4, 3 is at 12, left is 5. 4, uh, 3 is at 12 again, left is iota 3. Only. So, I can write this as iota power 4 into 33 plus of 3. Why we have written this? Because its multiple of 4 will make it 1. So, I write here iota power 4 into 33 into iota cube. Or I should say iota power 4 whole power 33 into iota cube is minus of iota. Iota 4 is clearly 1. So, that means this power is not going to work every time it will become 1. So, left is only iota cube that will give your answer minus. So, whenever you calculate the higher power, <clears throat> whatever multiple of 4, you remove it and remaining power you just use it. Example is iota power 98. When I do this, 98 and this is 4. 4 ones are 4 to the 8. Left is 1, 4 4 the 16, left is 2. Remainder is 2, that means this you should write only iota square. And what is iota square? This is come out to be minus. Same way they say iota power minus 58 you calculate. Iota power minus 58 we should calculate. Then what I should do here, iota power minus 58, so I'll take this down first in the denominator. And then 58 is here. So 58 now divided by 4. So 4 ones are 4. Left is 1, 18. 4 fours are 16. Remainder is 2. So what I should say, it will be 1 by iota square. And iota square is what? Minus 1. So 1 by minus 1. Minus 1 is the answer. Same way, one more question you write down, please. Iota power minus 999. When I say iota power minus 999, that means first thing 1 by iota power 999 I'll write. Then we will take 999 divided by 4. 4 to the 8 left is 1, 19. 4, uh, 4 is a 16. Left is 3, 9. 4, 9 is a 36. Left is 3. So, left is what? 1 by remainder is 3. So, I'll write iota cube. When you have iota cube, what I'll write here? 1 by minus of iota. And now, one thing you should remember that iota we never keep in the denominator. Because it is actually minus or uh, root of minus 1 and under root already we have done that we are not going to keep in the denominator. So 1 by minus iota. So I should multiply it by iota divided by iota. When you solve it, it will come iota by minus of iota square. Iota square is minus 1. Minus is already there. So it will be plus 1. So left is of the iota. So this way you can have the question. One more question write down please. <clears throat> iota 
iota is root of minus 1, iota square is minus 1, iota cube is minus iota, iota 4 is simply 1. And now one question is given minus root of minus 1 whole power 4n plus 3. This is the question where n belongs to integer x. Now when they say this, then what I should do here, minus it will be iota, this is iota only, 4n plus 3. Or I should say minus iota power 4n, and then it will come out to be minus iota power 3. Then we write this as minus iota whole power 4 whole power n. And here it will come out to be minus iota whole cube. So left is iota cube with minus sign. Minus and power 3 is there, so minus goes out. Now this is power 4 and this is minus here, so it will be plus only because uh, even power is there, so it will come out to be plus only. So left is iota power 4 power n and iota cube is what? Minus is here and this is minus i. Iota 4 is clearly 1 here, so 1 power n here and this is minus and minus plus, so it will be coming iota, answer is only i. Next question please, find the value of iota power 18 plus 1 by iota power 24 whole power 3. Now when it is 18 by 4 when you do 4, 4 is 16, remainder is 2. So I get it iota square. This is a multiple of 4. 24, so remainder come out to be 0. So that means it will be iota power 0. Whenever iota power 0 or something power 0, it is come out to be 1. So it will come out to be minus 1. This will be plus 1, power 3, answer is 0. One more question. Iota power 19 plus 1 by iota whole power 25 whole square is the value. Question is find out this value. When it is iota power 19, 16 is there, so left is what? Remainder is 3, so iota cube. This is 1 by iota power 25 and it is whole square. Iota cube is nothing but minus iota plus. Iota power 24 is 1, left is only iota. So it will be 1 by iota whole power 2. Then I told one thing that iota we never keep in the denominator. So we will write this as minus iota plus 1 by iota multiplied by iota divided by iota, whole square. Now when you solve it, it will come out to be minus iota and this will be plus iota by iota square, whole square. Iota square is what? Minus 1. So I got it minus iota and this is also minus iota, whole square or I should say minus 2 iota whole square. Now when you solve it, it will come out to be 4 iota square. 4 iota square, it will be minus of 4. Same way we have one more question. Iota power n plus iota power n plus 1 plus iota power n plus 2 plus iota power n plus 3. My question is find out its value. Evaluate it. 
Now, whenever this type of question comes, better will be the highest power you take out. Iota n is gone out. Left is 1 plus iota, iota square, iota cube. Then I get it iota power n here. 1 plus iota minus 1 minus n. Then what you will find, iota and iota cancel out, 1 and 1 cancel out, your result is left 0. So this way you can do questions now. One more question right now, please. 1 plus iota whole power 6. Plus 1 minus iota whole cube. You have to evaluate it. When you want to evaluate it, its better way will be 1 plus iota whole square I take and its power is 3. And here it will be A minus B whole cube formula. So I go for the formula 1 minus iota cube, A cube minus B cube minus 3, 1 into iota, 1 minus iota. Now when you solve it, 1 plus iota whole square, so it will be 1 plus iota square plus of 2 iota whole cube. And here it will come out to be 1 iota cube is what? Minus iota. So I write minus minus of iota. Then this come out to be minus of 3 iota and then plus 3 iota square. This is 1 minus 1 plus 2 iota whole cube. Plus, this will come out to be 1 plus iota, minus 3 iota, and this is minus of 3. This can cancel out. Left is 8 iota cube. Plus, what left here? Just check here. Minus 2 iota and minus 2. Then comes out to be 8 iota cube. So it will be minus of 8 iota. Then left is minus 2 minus of 2 iota. So your result come out to be minus 2 minus 10 iota. So this way you are going to work on these iota powers, integral powers only. And this part will be First, you have to finish out, then we will be starting with the complex number in the next lesson. Or in next uh, video, we will be just starting with the next uh, part of it, that is the complex number. Thank you.